Chapter 494 Opening the Ancient Array Even Abbot Whitebrow, a third stage life destruction supreme elder who cultivated the amazing holy Buddhist techniques, had nearly died a miserable death. If it were them instead, then there was no amount of luck that would have helped them escape. If they didn't have the fortune to enjoy the treasure, then it was worthless to them no matter how rare and precious it was. The life destruction elders began to move towards the cave entrance. This cave was simply too dangerous to them. If there was some accident and that red light flashed into them, it would really be the day of their death. They couldn't afford such a gamble, not to mention that many of them were considered the backbone of their sect. If they perished here, then their sect would be in a dangerous position. Thus, more than a dozen live destruction elders immediately left the cave. They had already made a resolution that even if this was a treasure that they could eat and use to ascend to the, the realm of gods, and even become immortal, they still wouldn't try to touch it. Juan Wuji calmly retreated back to the cave entrance. What he cultivated were the devil arts. While he had great offensive power, his defensive power was lacking. If that red light from a moment ago had come after him, then even if he couldn't guarantee he would be able to block it, Nanyun Wang hesitated for a moment and also retreated several steps. But in the end he wasn't willing to leave the cave yet. He also wanted that miraculous divine medicine that was refined with the Nirvana Dragon Root. As long as he was able to obtain it, then crossing that deathly river known as the stages of life destruction would not be difficult at all. This a Dragon Jade Light Array was truly terrifying. But wasn't crossing the calamitous stages of life destruction also terrifying? The life destruction boundary was truly an inestimable test of suffering and resilience on a martial artist's mind and soul. If they crossed it, then they could become a peerless emperor that lived for 10,000 years. But, if they failed, they could also turn into ash that disappeared with a wind. Nanyun Wang had a very great ambition. Among most of the elders present, the truth was that they had already completed their contingency plans to die in the life destruction realm. But Nanyun Wang was not willing. If he didn't want to face the bone-chilling probability of failing to cross life destruction when the time came, then his only choice was to face the terrifying red light from the Say Dragon Jade Light Array. The Nirvana Dragon Root was undoubtedly much safer, but, the ancient array formation that protected it was too strong. Who knew when it would be broken? In comparison, although the cosmic melting furnace was much more dangerous, at least he had seen the treasures within. There was always a sliver of hope. As many of the elders slowly left the cave one after another, Lin Ming was actually standing in a corner of the cave, calmly staring at this 8J Dragon Light Array. He had already discovered a number of ways to approach the furnace. For instance, the place where he now stood was the result of his meditation on this. The position he stood at was carefully chosen. The 8 Dragon Jade Light Array would only actively attack intruders that approached within 100 feet of the cosmic melting furnace. If one were further, they would only suffer the spilled red light. As for this spot where Lin Ming stood, it was a dead angle where the red lights couldn't reach. As long as he remained motionless there, it was impossible for those red lights to touch him. The Demon Emperor's second soul fragment had some incomplete memories about the 8 Dragon Jade Light Array. Lin Ming constantly pondered this using the knowledge he also had of ancient array formations, filling in the gaps himself and deducing what was missing. Lin Ming was confident that with less than a quarter of an hour, he would be able to break open the 8 Dragon Jade Light Array. However, the truth was that Lin Ming also knew that even if he managed to break through the array, it was useless. He didn't have Abbot White Brow strength. If he wanted to rely on his own strength, then he would never be able to lift the lid of the cosmic melting furnace, even if he was able to stand right next to it. But, no matter how hopeless it was, Lin Ming decided that he would first understand how the array formation operated and then think about whether or not he could use this information. Drawing back a step, it could be said that even if he couldn't obtain the treasures inside the cosmic melting furnace, he still might be able to use this a dragon jade light array to protect himself. If Zhuan Wuji decided to chase after him and kill him, then he would escape into the a dragon jade light array. Thinking of this, Lin Ming glanced over at Zhuan Wuji. After noticing where Zhuan Wuji stood, his mind suddenly stirred. Zhuan Wuji now stood outside the cave. Perhaps he could. Lin Ming had also once thought about this approach. However, at that time Zhuan Wuji and everyone else had been gathered around the Nirvana Dragon Root. Lin Ming simply didn't have a chance. But now, Everyone's attention had dispersed. Zhuan Wuji, Nanyun Wang, and Abbot Whitebrow, the three great masters here, had turned their full attention towards the cosmic melting furnace. Thinking of the transmission array that he had messed with, a crazy plan began to form in Lin Ming's mind. Originally, during this journey to the Demon God Imperial Palace, nearly 30 life destruction old fellows had come. But now, there were only 20 left. Those old fellows that had died were all overlords of their lands. Just mentioning their names brought the admiration of their sects and the terror of their enemies. However, even existences on this level were only a blink away from death within the Demon God Imperial Palace. They did not have any strength to resist the dangers here. At this time, outside of the cave, some of those elders that had luckily survived had chosen a place to begin meditating and restoring their condition. Some of those that were more familiar with array formations went to study the ancient array that protected the Nirvana Dragon Root. There were also some from a grimmer and more mediocre background that went to the riverside to search for medicines, not unlike poor old working men that plucked plants. Such a state lasted for several hours. Then, those at the riverside finally realized that they couldn't even find any herbs anymore. They bitterly pulled back their hands and moved to find a spot to meditate. But, those that studied the ancient array formations were still refusing to give up. Occasionally, there would be an old man that would gasp in surprise as he traced the ancient array. As if he found something and was suddenly enlightened, all of the others would immediately ask him what discovery he had made. Then, the old man that had been enlightened would share his enlightenment with a proud expression. After others heard this, they would also appear enlightened and follow with some compliments and praise. At this time, that old man that had shared his thoughts would appear extremely happy. Of course, 
there would sometimes be opposition from others that led to a fierce debate. During this time, everyone would rely on their own knowledge and comprehension of ancient arrays to struggle for a winner. Sometimes, in order to verify their thoughts, these old fellows would even bring out their array discs or array flags in order to test out their theories. Of course, no matter what they did, the ancient array formation would remain unmoved. The truth was that these old fellows did not expect they would be able to break through this ancient array formation. What they wanted was to learn from it and further define and deepen their own understandings of array formations. Compared to the current existing array formations of the Sky Spill Continent, this ancient array formation was undoubtedly more powerful. If they could comprehend just a bit of something, then they would gain a benefit for life. It wasn't known when, but a young man had infiltrated the group of old men as they discussed array formations, and began to feel over the ancient array formation. You little rascal, what are you here for? Don't try to get in this old man's way. A white-haired old man that held an array flag in his hand said with dissatisfaction as he saw Lin Ming loitering about. In order to meditate and perceive the array formation, one needed to be tranquil at heart. In the eyes of this old man, having Lin Ming wandering around him was obstructing his thinking. Lin Ming apologetically smiled and cupped his fists across his chest, saying, Junior just came to casually see. Humphrey, what do you think you will see? Even this old man is puzzled about many aspects of this array formation. Don't get in this old man's way of understanding it. Yes, Junior will immediately leave. Lin Ming said, his face covered with a contrite smile as he retreated. But as he walked away, he conveniently touched an array symbol. The array symbol's surface wasn't changed at all, and one couldn't see a difference either. It was only that the flow of energy within that array symbol had been altered. If one didn't have a thorough understanding of ancient array formations, then there was no way they would notice the difference. Little rascal, don't go randomly fumbling around. The white-haired man obviously hadn't looked at Lin Ming, but he still noticed Lin Ming's minor actions. This caused Lin Ming to secretly shrink backwards. He thought to himself, this old bag is really sensitive. Luckily, he doesn't understand anything about ancient array formations. Otherwise there is no way I could hide what I'm doing from him. Lin Ming let out a breath of relief. He grimly said, This is the third array symbol. He looked to the direction of a cave where the cosmic melting furnace was. Zhuan Wuji had already moved around 200 feet from the cave and was meditating on a rock. Although his eyes were closed, the truth was that he always had a slight strand of his perception branching out to the Nirvana Dragon Roots ancient array formation. However there were all sorts of self-proclaimed sages and grand masters of array formations that surrounded the ancient array formation. Studying it, Lin Ming seemed unremarkable among all of them. Next is the fourth array symbol. Lin Ming silently walked over to the location of the fourth array symbol. At this time, in the cave, Abbot White Brow had just restored his condition. It wasn't known what sort of miracle medicine he had used, but in just two hours of time, his right chest already looked a healthy tender red. Besides his complexion being a bit paler, he seemed all right. Obviously, Abbot White Brow also hadn't given up on the cosmic melting furnace. Lin Ming continuously opened nine array symbols. In his mind, he was constantly deducing the various situations that would happen once he opened the ancient array formation. The opening of the ancient array formation was a short process. This little time was enough for Zhuang Wuji to sense and instantly come rushing over. As for Nanyun Wang and Abbot White Brow, they were in a worse state. They were in the cave at the moment, concentrating their attention on the cosmic melting furnace. If there wasn't an accident, then after the ancient array opened, the Nirvana Dragon Root would fall into Zhuan Wuji's hands. Now, apart from Zhuan Wuji and a few other people, everyone else believed that the Demon God Imperial Palace was completely sealed off. If it were Abbot White Brow or Nanyun Wang who grabbed the treasure, there would inevitably be a great battle. They had no way to escape and could only rely on their strength to speak for them. Finally, they would have no choice but to distribute the treasures according to their relative strength. If this happened, Lin Ming would obtain not even the slightest benefit. Instead, he might be caught up in the aftermath of the battle. However, Zhuan Wuji was different. Zhuan Wuji knew how to leave the Demon God Imperial Palace through the transmission array. This is the 10th array symbol. After Lin Ming opened the 10th array symbol, he planned to stop for some time before continuing. Although his current movements didn't arouse anyone's attention, he still decided to remain supremely cautious. He went down to the riverside and took a short walk passing by the cave entrance of the cosmic melting furnace. After a quarter hour, Lin Ming began to continue activating the array symbols again, one at a time. Finally, after the 36th array symbol was activated, the originally calm ancient array suddenly began to release a hazy white light. 